This is the University of Central Lancashire Student Union. This documentary follows their student newspaper, Pluto, through its two-week production process. Uh, originally, it was a chance to get experience uh, of running a uh, student newspaper. That was when I was volunteering for it, but now, uh, as editor, it's a paid position. So the motivation is very much seeing the paper come together um, and helping everyone to uh, volunteer as much as they can. The first stop for the newspaper is the first plan meeting. This involves all the key people who are associated with producing Pluto and gives a good idea of what will be in the finished version of the paper. They're all currently running through funny stories to go into the eerie earth column. A scientist makes flies gay and then straight again. I don't know why. A man holds up a shovel of fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to make the area section bigger. Uh, fortunately, in my degree, I graduate in journalism, so I'm trained in media law. But we have media law lecturers at UCLan on the other end of the phone uh, to consult when we need to. Uh, we have used them this year. Uh, it's always better to run it past someone than to just think you're right, publish it, uh, and end up being sued. I've just finished work on page uh, six and seven. Uh, which are the news pages. We've just gone up to 40 pages, so previously this was a comment page, so we've had to change it to being a news page. Uh, we've now got the Eerie Earth column down the side, which has like random stories from around the world about offensive Santas and people shagging bikes and all the stuff that newspapers should be writing about. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. The second major meeting happens just three days before the deadline. PR1, an entertainment guide inside Plato, have gathered to talk about what they should review in this issue. Um, yeah, if you want, otherwise I'm not too bothered. Um, the main one I think I was, I think it would be better if we did games, because there's quite a few big names have been thrown up in the air at the moment, so don't mention games. It's deadline day. The sports stories which have just happened today are still to be written before it's sent to the printers tomorrow morning. It looks like a long night for some of the writers. That's it, the issue's gone to print now and uh, hopefully we'll be getting it tomorrow morning about 10 o'clock. The newspaper has just arrived, although there's a problem with the housing supplement. Um, we've sent this off to print, our lovely housing supplements, and um, the printers weren't told to put it inside the newspaper, which is where a supplement belongs. So yeah, we're not very happy. Nevertheless, editor Ed Walker loads up the SC minibus and goes delivering around campus. When you hold it in your hands after two weeks of hard work um, and you're delivering it around campus and you're seeing people reading it, uh, that's really rewarding. <laughs> <laughs>